to plant a seed properly, it must be extremely intentional and extremely clear in your mind. There must be a clear plan. I will take them out, and it has to be regular. I will take them out every Friday, uh, Starbucks on Scottsdale and whatever the crossroad is, and I will give them 45 minutes of my time and not less. I will give them 45 minutes of my time and I will try to help them. I will support them in, in their financial problems. Okay, that's all. In this system, if you don't do that, you cannot succeed. Oh, no, Geshe-la, I had some success earlier in my life. That was an accident, okay? Really. You didn't have any control of it. It came to you because of something you had done earlier. Some kindness you had rendered earlier and you had some success, and then it went away, because you didn't know where it was coming from. You see what I mean? It, it's the story of so many successful people, musicians, business people, anything, actors, you know, I can't, I have an, a, a person in our group who's an Academy Award nominee, I won't say their name, but they can't get a job. They can't get any acting jobs, they, and they didn't know why, they didn't, uh, no, why? What happened? What changed? You were living off an old debit card and it ran out and you didn't know where it came from, okay? I have a lot of actors now in my... Uh, I teach a lot of actors this system. What do you think is the way to get an acting part? Yeah, when the auditions come, you try to find three other people who might want to audition against you and you help them and you support them, and you try to pitch them to the director of the film. Okay, well, who was that? I can say her name, Summer Moore. She's a lady in LA. She tried my system. <laughs> she just got a multi-film part, a leading role. She just did it this way. She helped other people get roles. You see what I mean? With technique, which I'm teaching you, right? Four steps, right? So, third, Third part, take them to Starbucks. It must be regular. You don't plant a seed in a day. It, I would say once a week. Try once a week, okay? To fix your finances, make a regular date with someone who's struggling and give them support and help once a week regularly, okay? Same time each week. What you want, you must offer to others regularly or it won't work. It, doing it once is not going to ha make anything happen. It's like throwing a, a watermelon seed uh, on, the, on concrete, okay? It's not enough. It has to become a way of life that you help others. It has to become part of your way of life, your regular way of life, okay? It has to become an instinct that when you want something, you try to get it for someone else. It must become instinctual. And right now we have the opposite instinct. What I want, I must take from others. I must deny to others. I must compete with others. That's, that's our current instinct, you see? And to change an instinct is very, very hard, okay? So it has to be regular. It has to become instinctual. Oh, my husband yelled at me. I have to stop yelling at the kids. The, instead of getting angry at the husband, your automatic instinct is to, who am I yelling at? Why? How should I stop my yelling with someone else? You see what I mean? Like that. It must become an instinct. If enough people change that instinct, this world will change. The whole world will change. People will act differently towards each other. Those who don't want to be yelled at will stop yelling in order to not be yelled at. And it will just be an instinct, and the world will 